a table covered in great looking miniatures, surrounded by friends, real people playing a great deep game in a real place like here at Uncle's Games. But miniature games have often had a limited accessibility. You have to build and paint the figures and the rule books can be really large and hard to learn. There's a lot of record keeping and, and the games can take a long time to play. That's why we want to create Golem Arcana and make it really accessible, not by dumbing the game down, but by taking advantage of technology to do the work for you so that you can focus on your tactics, your friends, and the fun. It was totally easy. This is something that anybody could pick up on in a matter of half an hour. Have to enter anything, it's already there. It's, it's something I could easily see playing with my girlfriend. I love the, uh, I didn't have to know the rules. Just yeah. do what you want to do and the iPad handles it. Oh, and the figures all come pre-painted, so they're ready to play right out of the box. Any models that are painted for me, good thing. Golem Arcana is a digitally enhanced miniatures game. The app is both the rule book and the referee all in one. It uses a stylus which has a camera that reads micro dots that are printed all across the map on the bases of the figures and on the cards and then sends those codes that it reads to your mobile device via Bluetooth. So what this means is I don't have to look things up in a rule book to know what they do. I just tap on them to find out for instance that the mountain blocks fire or that the hills extend range or that the trees provide cover. And when I'm ready to move a figure, I just tap its name and then tap where I want to go on the map. It confirms that it's a legal move and I tap to confirm that. To do an attack, I tap the name of the attack and the name of the figure that I want to target. It brings up all the information about that attack, including its to hit number, and if I want to know how it arrived at that, I can see the details just by tapping the screen. To finish the attack, I just tap the name again. Ah, missed. Now, alternately, I could roll the dice and then tap in the results. We've only scratched the surface of this game. There's a lot more depth in the mechanics video farther down on the page. But Golem Arcana goes way beyond just being accessible. Because it's a digitally enhanced game, we can do so much more cool stuff. For instance, automatically uploading all the information for leaderboards or downloading new scenarios that keep the game dynamic and fresh. Or how about a board game with a save game feature? 30 years ago when I created Battletech, we did something innovative with how we intermixed story and gameplay. Well, we want to take that to a whole new level with Golem Arcana, and that means we need a really interesting and deep setting. Golem Arcana is set in a world that was sculpted by the Ancient Ones, a race that built powerful golems with which they created and destroyed continents. Golems are creatures of magic, giant constructs of branch, bone, and stone, which move, serve, and die, but never lived. They are built for war and mastered by the Golem Knights who ride them into combat. The story for Golem Arcana starts after the meteoric rise and fall of the Great Khan. In the ensuing chaos, conquered tribes and clans rise up to reclaim their sovereignty. Neighboring empires mobilize to reclaim lost territory and honor, all as the heirs of the Khan battle each other for control of the Uruk Dominion. Each faction fields golems crafted with one or more of the Ancient One's magical codexes. The Zekia Codex illustrates the crafting of golems from the abundance of magical energy resident in living trees and plants. The Codex of the Urugol Pantheon instructs on the crafting of golems from the magical energy dormant in the remains of creatures that once lived. The Durrani Codex teaches the crafting of golems from the density of magical energy found in polished stone, gems, and precious metals. The recently rediscovered Gudana Codex illustrates the crafting of golems from the latent magical energy of the soil, brought to life by the blood of the crafting mage. As I've done in the past with Battletech and Shadowrun, Golem Arcana will continue to grow and evolve, both in fiction and in gameplay. That's because Golem Arcane is an expandable game. You can go from a two-player skirmish up to epic multiplayer battles by adding terrain tiles and figures. The base game includes the stylus, six fully assembled and painted figures and their associated cards, 12 digital go golem knights and four digital ancient ones which can be combined with the golems for lots of strategic combinations, six terrain tiles with which you can build the battlefield, and two dice, everything you need for a two-player skirmish game. Over 600 people have played the Golem Arcana prototype at Gen Con and PAX Prime, but it's only a prototype. We have so much farther to go in the game design, on the mechanics, on the balance of this game. Plus, we have the app development, the server side development, the hardware development for the stylus, manufacturing for the figures, and lots of awesome art to create. It's a big job. There's a lot to deliver, but we know how to do it. We've done it before. Last year, thanks to our awesome backers, we kickstarted Shadowrun Returns. And this July, we became the first multi-million dollar crowdfunded video game to ship. I can't wait to launch the next generation of tabletop gaming to bring us together around the table and create a, a new game world for everyone to enjoy.
keeps a lot of that like face-to-face -face play that was really nice about actually like sitting down and table topping with someone. I want the devices that sometimes feel like they're they're pulling us apart to bring us together at the table to share a miniatures game, a deep game that's been made fast and fun and easy to learn. I hope you'll back us and join us in the creation of, of a new game, a new world, and a whole new way to play together. When you back this game on Kickstarter? Oh yeah. I'll be kickstarting the crap out of that.